are the usurer wages war on all poorer. Pathologic 2 is an adventure survival game set during a deadly outbreak in a small town. You play a former member of the town who left, supposedly to become a doctor. As you return home at your father's request, you learn someone murdered him just before you arrived. You must figure out what happened to him while at the same time a plague is overtaking the town. While attempting to uncover what happened to your father, you're encouraged to talk to townsfolk and learn about them and the town. You can also trade goods with them instead of just buying items at the grocery, pharmacy, or clothing store. However, each day lasts a set amount of in-game time, and some quests have to be completed by the end of the day or they become inaccessible. Your choices have consequences, and characters will be affected by them, perhaps even leading to their deaths. While interacting with the townsfolk, it's hard to not notice how much less impressive characters look at the normal lighting of streets and buildings compared to the close-ups during dialogue, because the close-ups truly add to the town's unsettling feeling. The quests garnered by NPCs are usually multi-point fetch quests. Destinations in the town are far apart, so you'll spend a lot of time walking, which if you're interested in the town and its people, provides plenty of points of interest. However, passing time in-game affects your health, hunger, thirst, stamina, exhaustion, and exposure to the plague to varying degrees depending on what you're doing. Balancing those resources to ameliorate those woes, along with gathering crafting items within a limited inventory space, is pivotal to the survival of you and the townsfolk. Technical problems frequently distracted from the gameplay and story. Dialogue choices said I lacked items I had in my inventory. Important items sometimes didn't highlight when prompted. Frame rate stuttering happened often. The game stopped for several seconds every time I opened a door. I lowered the settings to minimum, but didn't notice much difference. And when exiting to desktop, the game could take up to two minutes to close. That's with a Radeon R9 380 that runs other modern games at max settings with no problems. While technical issues were annoying, something far worse hurt my experience. In desperation, I had to sell everything I had, including the items needed to make medicine to help others, to get enough supplies for me to not die. But that turned out to not be enough, and I ended up caught in a loop of never having enough supplies to actually progress. I tried switching to a life of crime, killing people and taking their supplies, but my health was so low and I had sold my weapons, so I couldn't even survive a fight. Pathologic 2 throws a lot of different ideas, gameplay choices, and resources at the player. Depending on your taste, that scattershot of possibilities will likely either be the game's biggest selling point or a fun halting flaw. For me, the constant micromanaging of resources, unintuitive design choices, lack of guidance, and bugs hindered me from getting into a story that likes to remain mysterious and purposefully convoluted. If you enjoy the erratic and grungy storytelling of arthouse films, you enjoy or are willing to put up with micromanaging multiple resources, and you have the patience to learn the game's methods and logic, then Pathologic 2 might be an experience for you.